Tristan. Hey Kak, eh uh, Kai. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Ini <laughs> Channel and for today's video I have a very special friend. Business. Oh, ayo sunaga. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I have a very special guest, my new friend, her name is Shay. Hello. And thank you for giving me opportunity to interview you. How are you today? I am doing well, thank you so much for asking. And um, I'm, uh, we have a topic for today. We have a topic, we're going to talk about the funny uh, habits of Filipino people. That's gonna be fun, and I'm so excited to do this video. And uh, before we start, I'm just gonna ask her a few questions about, you know, her life. And how old are you, Shay? I'm 39. Wow! <laughs> yeah. oh my I'm, I'm so old. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm telling. I thought she's about like early, uh, like middle twenties. No, I'm how 39. How do you keep yourself look young? Uh, really? <laughs> oh, and you got? You told me that you got kids. Yes, I've got two children. One is 17 and the other one is 8. I, I assume you look siblings in person. <laughs> they, uh, she looks young in her age. So that's good. You're a single parent. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you originally live here in Valencia? I'm from Dumaguete City, but I've been living here for 15 years. Here in Valencia? Yes. Well, um, so yeah uh if you want to know more about her about you know she made a video lately about getting to know her so i'm not gonna ask her more question and she's doing vlog and mm -hmm. yeah i'll put in the link so we'll talk about uh our topic for today so first i think we're gonna start because this is like controversial uh, what is they call it controversial controversial, controversial. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we'll start with uh so this is funny because you know the philippine have it and uh philippine people knows us very happy people and this is not a toxic habit it's only like we found it funny yeah i think so mm. yeah and most foreigner thinks it's funny so so we'll start with uh filipino people we always you know like pointing using our lips i think foreigners that travel here they you uh, know yeah 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 i think um i can remember um i had a well the dad of my second daughter when we first met mm. he asked he kind of asked me a place to, to to look at and i was like i was like it's there but i said i, I said <laughs> i said something like that i i was pointing with my lips kind of pouting yeah my, our yeah lips yeah so he was like what is this girl doing she does she want to kiss me or something <laughs> but funny. yeah we Filipinos kind of like uh, use our lips um, often when we are pointing at something. So mm. especially when we're doing something like like you know doing something, and then when someone asks, "Where's something? Where's the phone?" or "Where yeah. you know, something else?" Just say, just you know, so <laughs> easy can you can point something. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we use our eyebrows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we kind of use our eyebrows if we are in approval of something so let's say if you ask me do you want to go or do you want to come with us tonight i would say so <laughs> yeah. so that is a yes and sometimes when we are angry we don't you know we don't say words like we just sometimes you just look yep. like that especially when we're trying to uh, discipline our kids no, <laughs> sometimes the parents just look like that so the kids will you know that's how we discipline sometimes and about saying no yes sir <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and also i find it funny because i actually only realized this lately that if someone says something and we kind of don't understand it mm -hmm. we tend to like open our mouth like like if you tell me something and i don't understand i would say oh yeah <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, the, and the most i mean the funniest thing about it is that if we are really having a hard time understanding what yeah. the person is saying, the wider our mouth is, yeah. right? 
<laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, we do it also here. So here in the Philippines, most people, they don't say like, sorry, can you say it again? Something like that. Yeah. Or uh, can you repeat what you said? We just say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so some people, I think they would be fond of yeah, like yeah. most foreigners. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we uh, say yeah, like, you know, when we agree mm -hmm. something, we just nod our head like that. And I think that's one thing that, uh, like, one of my habits that uh, my husband found it funny. And sometimes, you know, he did just uh, say say the words. I don't understand like that. <laughs> do you all sometimes do you do it also? Yep. Like, like Yeah, that? exactly. And I think sometimes it, um, Western men actually find it annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, yeah, it's annoying sometimes. But you know, some uh, we could not rectify that sometimes because it's really a habit that we've been mm -hmm. doing. I mean, we are accustomed to doing it since mm -hmm. we were kids. Yeah, that's exactly. yeah. Our parents do it, mm, so. so that's why we we act like one. And then, yeah, I agree with you. Like to some foreigners, I think at the first time maybe it will be a bit funny. But I think uh, you know because they're not doing it, I think it's quite irritating to mm. them like like that like mm. yes exactly and also one more thing i'm not sure if you do it but if we are full <laughs> we kind of like we just kind of like you know open our shirt i mean not open but like like <laughs> yeah exactly especially in the province yeah 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 <laughs> and then men men in the philippines they op they even open their yeah, clothes yeah. like the do that mm -hmm. I don't know why we do that, but it's it's kind of like like I don't know fulfilling to kind of like you know just uh kind of like bloat our stomach and say oh I'm so full like you know like pat it. it yeah yeah just feeling the food inside you know <laughs> this one is really funny so we use I think uh, most I think all of us like it's because our grandpas you know all the you know here in the Philippines we use vaporub or we call it if it can mental any types of mental do you um, use it also linen mint yeah linen mint yeah <laughs> we use it like that's our perfume <laughs> there's like a laugh line like I mean uh, Vicks vaporub and um, linen mints like Vicks, Vicks, yeah, Vicks yeah. also mm -hmm. there's all kinds of mental but we use it all the time every time like we get runny nose for whatever is sickness we <laughs> use it <laughs> i think that's funny huh yeah. like this one is my husband found it really funny the first time yeah he noticed i used that and before my husband doesn't like it but now he used to it like every <laughs> night sometimes he will he's the one who asks me can you put some oil on my mm. le my legs sometimes we use that for what what else do you use it for um I mostly use it when I have headaches or even if I'm not a, actually sick. I just put it, you know, on my body because, you know, the mental uh, feeling is really yeah. satisfying. I think some people don't believe that, but it's actually we do we help. Yeah. We're like when we have a bloated stomach, <laughs> we put in our stomach, we had a gas, what else? Like, this one is real funny because my daughter was get sick like like few months ago so she got uh you know she was vomiting in the, and then i put leaves on her <laughs> i put leaves on her stomach and guy noticed that he was laughing <laughs> what did you put to my baby's stomach why there's a leaves in that's what we mm -hmm. use right in our especially in the province yeah i actually do that sometimes whatever leaves i can find <laughs> It probably is not herbs, but whatever leaves I can find, I, I you know, I, I put it um, on my kid's stomach. How about eggplant? Eggplant leaves? I haven't I tried it. <laughs> my mom said it works. So I did try. Yeah. The eggplant leaves, it works. they said that, yeah, they said that it will fix uh, what they runny poop. They okay. said that's yeah. diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even like, you know, where uh, my mom, I remember when I was at you know what as a little i get uh i break my my arm, Your arm. my arm and then my mom just massage you with oil <laughs> you know that's funny because we got, my, you know in like in the western people that thinking they will just you know take the kids right away to the hospital but us like you know i think it's um i think what's happening is that um because we are so poor or our um, parents were so poor we didn't have access to um hospitals we didn't have money so that's why we just kind of grab everything we can find to try heal whatever sickness we have 
I think that's that's yeah, the that's the reason why yeah. 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 Be growing up poor because you, you know especially if you like living like in the jungle almost yeah. like you're far from the hospital so you don't have time to go to the hospital mm -hmm. like even when we get fever when i was young i remember my mom will just put leaves on my forehead <laughs> <laughs> yeah i try that too yeah, with do. my kids it works, huh? <laughs> yeah like your fever will go down i'm not sure if if it actually works but i did try that yeah but my kids are now like like 17 and 8, so it probably works. Mm, there's more. <laughs> I put it in here so, you know, we can remember. Oh, this one is so funny. <laughs> what is it? We put, like, I know, we put uh, stuff on our head sometimes. Like, oh. we're going somewhere, like, we already tired of carrying stuff. And this, this also, this, I think it's only happening like in the province. I've been in Manila, I didn't see people do this, but you know, do uh, have you do that before? Like put your stuff in your Yeah, head? a lot of times. Or if I buy rice at the market, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we're just being resourceful because, you know, when we go to the market, we don't have anything with us. So we have to put some here and, and in both hands. So we cannot carry everything in both hands, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess people just use our head yeah, that's to, to carry stuff yeah that's exactly and then sometimes i think uh i did it and when i was young i do it also i think our neck have more for for what i feel <laughs> i think i feel like it's more stronger to put yeah. in our head yeah? sometimes my your hands will get painful so yeah course, especially it's a plastic mm. so in the forehead it's, it seems like it's easy to to carry stuff yeah i think so and then, uh, this, i remember this because um one time me and Gary was driving here, here in our road, you know, in Valencia, and we saw uh, the lady putting the, <laughs> put the, uh, no, the plastic on her forehead, yeah. and then Gary stopped. Gary stopped <laughs> Look at how she puts stuff on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we find that really amazing, oh, or maybe for some it's shocking that we do that, but yeah, it's just the way how we do things, and and... It's not bad. It's, it, it, it is funny the it way how we do too. things here. Mm -hmm. And then I think the first time is uh, that's why I remember that because you know the whole trip it, where it was just it was smiling on his face. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's really a Filipino thing because I know that some other Asians, oh. uh, I mean, some other Asian um, people are oh, doing yeah, that. Yeah. I yeah. actually saw like in Mexico something mm -hmm. like black people. I saw a picture. Africans. Africans, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do that also. Yeah. I saw like the whole uh, like plastic, you know, the vegetables. Like mm -hmm. when they selling stuff, mm -hmm. they put it on, our, on their forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's funny. Yeah, you know, like I love doing this, talking about this because I can remember, you know, the old days, you know, when yep. I was young. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so I think most Philippines, I don't know, but me, I'm the one who usually do this, slapping someone here. Oh, yeah, that's really common <laughs> with us Filipinas. Mm -mm. Yeah. And, you know, I used to do it. I even fall on the chair, <laughs> just laughing. I don't know. I think that's how we express the things that are funny. We found something funny. I, I don't think know. so, yeah. I mean, we are very expressive. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why. <laughs> yeah, Gary, well, when I laugh, you know, Gary would do. He will leave me. <laughs> he will go. We will move away because I know that I'm going to slap. Yeah, I think we just we just probably just slap for whatever reason, not or whenever we are happy, whenever we are we are shocked, or if there's something funny that we have to laugh about, um, or even when we are angry. So I I guess for whatever mood we are in, we just slap people. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> and I guess one uh, because I usually do it also. So I guess, uh, like you know, to express the something mm. like it's for, and I I know that it could be, you know, sometimes I have to be careful. That's I think Gary told me that uh, before that you need to control that because there are some people that very sensitive, <laughs> like you will slap people, and we do it also like you know clapping like high mm. five every time. You do yeah, that. exactly. I got in trouble once with um, the dad of my youngest daughter mm. because I was with um, my guy friends. Well, I was with girlfriends and guy friends mm -mm. so we were laughing and all that i was like you know doing this with my guy friend and he was like oh you're such a flirty woman because they're not used to us touching whatever men and women we always touch yeah. right 
but there's no like malice and it's like yeah it's no just, malice at all it's just i think it's just to exaggerate our whatever um feeling we are in mm -hmm. like let's say for example we're happy we have to like exaggerate that so we have to slap you oh like, and then sometimes <laughs> that's how we show like closeness even like you know close friends that's how we express our yeah. like, bring closeness you know so i think that, that can be but i think there's some people that's funny yeah i think it's a heads up for for foreigners out there you know, especially if it's their first time mm -hmm. coming here um it's like a heads up for you guys because filipinas really are very touchy oh yeah they, we are yeah friendly in, oh, yeah. yeah but it's got no malice at all yeah it's, yeah it's basically that's just how we to are, that's how we are. yeah and then when we laugh we also do this <laughs> <laughs> i think uh, my mom told me that in our old days you know that's how we should like like uh the lagang filipina oh yeah that. we used to cover our yes exactly i forgot about that actually because i remember that actually someone told me that back then it's not modest for a filipina to actually laugh with your teeth showing mm. yeah that's yes so that's why to the culture mm -hmm. yeah and you will be considered flirt flirtatious actually mm. if you're laughing and your teeth are showing what? so that's why we had to like cover our mouth yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, I guess I'm here too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, um, you your thoughts there. Okay, hoarding ice cream containers. Like whatever container we can find, like let's say if we buy ice cream, it's very Asian thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not only Filipino, yeah. but yeah, it's a really Asian thing where, okay, we buy ice cream, like, like a gallon of ice cream or whatever oh, yeah. grams of ice cream. Yeah. We have to keep it. We cannot, our conscience is going to like haunt us uh, later, if we had like throw the the container, we mm. had to keep it. And then I remember some, uh, yeah, the, because of that, I remember something. You know, there, there um, like I thought it's our ice cream, but I opened the <laughs> container. <laughs> there's a fish. <laughs> there's fish inside. Yeah, exactly. So whatever container we, uh, I mean, whatever food we buy mm. that is inside a container, we always have to keep the container keep because. We have to think about leftovers oh, and all that. So maybe we, we can use it for something. Yeah. Even gallons of water. Like, you know, there's a lot behind there because <laughs> I know someone maybe needs it. You mm -hmm. I keep it. There's a lot of, you know, so if you need <laughs> And we, can, we use it, especially in the province, we use it to, you know. But yeah, anyway, we like to, uh, what do you call it? Like, I don't know the words, but there are some words to that. Like, we, yeah, like. I forgot, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep containers because I think one of the reasons is that if you buy expensive containers and if you have like parties at home and then we Filipinos love to like give people food to, mm. to, to, yeah. to, for them to bring home. Yeah. And if we buy expensive containers, most likely they're not going to return that. Mm. Right? So we use the one that from the ice cream <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that's one of the reasons too. And that's one of the habits also of Filipino. We used to give our neighbors food. Yeah. Mm. That's how we are. We are. Do you know uh, Joe Koi? Joe, Joe Koi? I, yeah, I think yeah. I'm familiar. He's a comedian and he had some skit wherein he had to share his experience. Um, growing up when he was um, at school and everybody had expensive lunchbox, right? Mm -hmm. And here he is with an ice cream container and everybody was laughing at him because he had ice cream at lunch. <laughs> and he was like, no, this is rice and something. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So I think it speaks most for um, Asians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we used to grow up poor, you know, so I think it's hard for us to waste something. Mm -hmm. There are some words, but I forgot I can't say the words. It's like disposable. 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 We like to, we, uh, you know, we recycle. Do, you recycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like to recycle something. We don't want to waste, some, even like when it comes to food, like something like we have a leftover my husband will tell me throw it away like there's uh we have a uh, sugar you know mm. sometimes the ants will get in it and he will told me to throw it away no way I, no no, no. no way I'm gonna <laughs> throw it. it's we're just gonna pick the the, mm. the, the ants right 
and they, they we believe that that's good for your friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. My mom said that. Oh. She was like, oh, that's good for you. It's okay. <laughs> so that's funny. Yeah. And one thing is that if you're using like old sugar and, and ants are there, if we cannot like, like pick them up inside the container, when we um, make coffee, we, I, I'm not sure about you, but like, let's say for example, I have ants all over my coffee. Mm. I just like kind of pick them up. <laughs> Me too, of course. Uh, it's not a big deal for us, but in foreigners, like in some foreigner mostly they're they don't like it they don't like it yeah. it's like uh what do you call it like for them they think that kind of bacteria whatever but yeah they believe that way. yeah we are like i'm 39 and i've been drinking coffee or whatever with ants you know i'm still alive mm. <laughs> anyway you have any more there to add um let's see here okay elevating our legs when we are eating so we always oh. kind of like oh, do yeah. like this when we are eating. Yeah, that's good thoughts. Yeah, that's exactly. We used to do that when we eat. I don't know, but I think that's we're comfortable to do that. Yep. I think it's because maybe when we were growing up, we didn't have tables. Like we had to um, sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure with you, but we didn't have dining table. We don't have. We just have a like bamboo, you know, like there's even no... Yeah. Uh, so yeah i think that's one and then we also squat mm -hmm. <laughs> i think it's funny we squat all the time yeah squat like, all the time like every time we like even like you know we clean the garden or open something we see it like mm -hmm. this like yeah. cooking yeah um okay so one more thing for us filipinos we we we, we would like to like conserve energy all the time so if we want to go somewhere, we need to unplug everything. <laughs> oh yeah, especially the fridge. <laughs> oh 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 yeah, yeah exactly because we don't want to waste money on electric. Yeah cars. exactly. Even at night time, we had to like unplug everything, even the fridge. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, we would not have any like cold water or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Because everything is unplugged. <laughs> I, I can't relate because uh, see, I only get a chance to have a refrigerator when me and Gary live together. But anyway, yeah, that's how we are Filipinos. We are unplugged because we don't want to waste money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So th I think that's why <laughs> when I do that, of course, it's not going to be good because, you know, there's a lot of... But we don't put a lot of stuff naman in our fridge. Like if we're not rich, diba? like we have just a it's, simple... It's really just water inside. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, after the... <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> Most of the like Philippines, they have you know they have refrigerator, but it's more on the or ice. They selling ice if yeah. they have refrigerator. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess that's uh we're gonna end this here. But we uh before that, please don't forget to support her support her YouTube channel, guys. What's your YouTube channel? She travels. She tra uh, travels, mm -hmm. and I'll put that in a link. In what kind of video do you make? I mostly do nature, like take people um, into nature. Um, yeah, it's mostly nature, really. So how many subscribers do you have now? Right now, I have probably five, forty-five. Oh, that's good. You just started, right? In I just started. Well, I've had it since twenty sixteen, but did not really upload oh. anything in there. Um, but I, I, I started probably a few months ago and i would like to say this for the record i'd like to say thank you for uh because i was with um giselle's mm. channel yeah. twice mm. and that really helped me a lot in gaining a lot of subscribers so yeah giselle thank you so much yeah that's good and guys please don't forget to subscribe and to support you know because she's not monetized yet. of course not you yet. have to reach the 1k but mm -hmm. there's you know there's improvement like like halfway of getting like you know um 1000 subscribers and then you the next step would be you know the 4k one yeah. hours and mm -hmm. hopefully you will get that soon so but anyway uh thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for you know uh joining our chat thank you for thank you having so chat with me <laughs> and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye, bye. thank you for watching